dapat din. <laughs> it was in the middle of the class and I was late to the class looking at the teacher three times. He was busy he was very busy writing something on the board. I didn't know what to do. Excuse me sir. Yeah. Excuse me sir. May I, may I, what may I? Excuse me sir. May I come in? You are daily late to the class. You will never pass. Your parents will come and say, Master teacher very weak. Why you are keeping him? <laughs> you are the last ranker in the class. What to do now? Well, actually, the bus was late. I missed. To stop your stories. I can write hundred films with your stories. Actually, uh, even though you sit inside or stay outside, no use either for you or not for me. <laughs> that's right. Sir. What? You <laughs> mean, sir? No, sir. No, that's not right. Actually, I need to learn something. My dear students, this guy, we know this like. Ay in the word okay. Just for the name's sake, no use. <laughs> My dear students, this Vinod is like a white crayon on the whiteboard. Whatever you write, no use. <laughs> Did you understand anything? No, sir. It is almost similar to your maths and English. <laughs> Actually, I am saying that you are a useless fellow and get out of the class. <laughs> Good evening, my dear friends and fellow Toastmasters. Myself, you know, standing before you all to deliver my speech, dirty paper. As soon as he told me to get out, I will follow these things in a proper way. If he says get in, I will not follow. But get out is a very interesting thing for uh, students like me. <laughs> so, I started walking and scolding him and found a big stone and I found his his new brand bike. This stone, I threw at his bike and just glass got break. Some sort of satisfaction. But still, I walked to the ground. Suddenly tears started flowing from my eyes. This seems, his words useless was occupying my mind. Useless? This is not him. As usual, useless, useless, last ranker, duller. These are synonyms of me. Why I am feeling? Why I am feeling? What to do? What to do? Suddenly, I found a bottle. I just want to pass time in the ground, and I took the bottle. And it has a dirty paper. I opened it. It was a old newspaper. It was very dirty, full of dust. The marks of mango doll or some doll and seems like it was wet for years. When I turn back that paper, there is a line. If you are thinking yourself as useless, then read this paragraph. <laughs> this is exactly suiting my situation. <laughs> then I opened that and it was written like this. It was a small story. Once upon a time, there were two students who completed their schooling and went to the teacher. And they asked the teacher, Dear sir, please tell us what gift we, we, have, we want to give for you because uh, you offer a lot of knowledge for us. So what gift you are expecting? He was very happy with students' love and gratitude. He expected nothing from them, but he wants to add little more to the students' wisdom. He said, My dear students, there was a forest behind our school and once you go to that forest and pick some dry leaves which are of no use to anyone. The students were wondered, dry leaves? What he will do? He will use them for water, hot water or what? What he is asking? The students were wondered, but however, in obedience to the teacher, they set out to the forest. As they entered the forest, they found a small heap of dry leaves. When they started picking the dry leaves and suddenly an old man came running and told, I had collected them from my field. 
after burning these dry leaves, their ashes will make excellent manure, which will help me in uh, finding, growing a rich crop. Okay, fine. The students left that heap, and they continued further into the forest. As they continued, they saw three women collecting these dry leaves and putting into their baskets. The students were confused and asked them, what are you doing with these dry leaves? They told, we use these dry leaves, we, we use the leaves together, we pin the leaves together with reed pins and make dinner plates for temples, which will, serve, which will support our livelihood and we will use the torn leaves for uh, making hot water for bathing. They left that. They thought uh, finding the dry leaves in this forest was uh, finding the dry leaves which are of no use to anyone was difficult in this situation and they, they decided to go back. On their way back, they saw a big dry leaf floating on the water. And one of the students said, that dry leaf was of no use to anyone and we can pick them. They started running. And they picked the dry leaf, but as soon as they picked the dry leaf, the two red ants on that leaf stopped moving and they gave a look to this, these students as if like you are taking away my lifeboat otherwise we would have drowned in this pond. Those students then realized that it is not possible to find the dry leaves which are of no use to anyone and they went back to the Guru and replied the same. Sorry Guru, we cannot find what you are expecting. Then the Guru gave a smile and told we got, I got what the gift I want from you. The knowledge of knowing, knowing the importance of giving even seemingly unimportant things like dry leaves, which are of no use to anyone, is what I am expecting from you. Is what that is the return from what I want to see. So, this brought me tears and it has taught me two lessons. First lesson is, never treat yourself as useless because even a small dry leaf has a lot of uses. Second thing is, if you have a good teacher, whether it's a punishment or compliment, take it in a positive way from them and learn from them. That's it.